and we're going to give you all of our tips, tricks, and secrets to make it the easiest way possible. Hey there, it's Gabby here and welcome to Bradian Art Inspirations. In today's class video, kind of spiel, instead of going to be face painting, it's going to be a lot more fun. Well, I wouldn't say more fun, but a different kind of fun. And that's going to be gems and glitter. I mean, as a face painter and as a person, right? Uh, I think we all love glitter and we all love gems because, I mean, they're beautiful and shiny and stunning. So we're going to show you a design or a kind of a concept that does amazing for people that don't want face painting but still kind of want to get something done. And it's best for those that are in their teens or adults and even um, more older adults, like a more mature age. They all love getting this crescent eye moon gem glitter fiasco. So this kind of design is definitely some of the best things to do during festivals, weddings, galas, things that might be a little bit more of an elegant event, um, just because it doesn't require face painting. So if you sweat, it stays on because you're using a body glue and body glitter. It is bomb and it just looks so attractive. You're like, hey, I'm shining like a diamond, right? Like a, that, that song, shine bright like a diamond. So in this class, not only are we going to show you how to actually apply it onto the face, but the gem box, what we use and where to buy some really good gems that I promise will be like, moi, elle est beautiful, amazing. Yes, all of these things we do for you because we love you. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies we are going to be using today and things I use for almost every glitter design thingy that I do. So first we're using pink glue to do a small crescent moon around the outside of the eye. And when you're doing your gems, you wanna make sure that the centerpiece is the biggest and then everything around it gets smaller each time you move closer to the eyebrows. And that's exactly what is demonstrated here. You have the biggest and then you get bigger, I mean, smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it's very, very, very small. With this glue, it's nice to do it in bits because it does dry pretty fast. So if you do everything at once, by the time you add the gem, it will not stick on as well as if you just take your time and do it in segments. So pretty much the gem sticking is done. Again, it's going from big to small and it is symmetrical. The top and the bottom are done the same way. There aren't any gems that are on top that aren't on the bottom, if that makes sense. So you have practically the hardest part done. Now we're gonna be adding the cream glitter with a silicone wand. This glitter is by Creative Sticks and because it has a smell to it, it is so much fun to add to clients and they're like, ooh, what's that smell? And you're gonna say like, oh yeah, it's the glitter. And lastly, adding poofer glitter to keep the cream glitter steady. That is it. So easy, so fast. Oh my goodness, I feel, I feel so, so glamorous. glamorous. Wink. Wink. But in all honesty, um, it does look very pretty. And with the combination that we used of pink body glue and um, cream glitter, it feels very light. It doesn't have that kind of like crackly dry feeling where the skin kind of feels stretched. It doesn't, it feels very natural. It, to me, the best way I could compare it to would maybe be kind of like if you're wearing fake eyelashes, like you feel it but it doesn't like overpower your face of like, wow, it feels so uncomfortable. Now, of course, depending on what body glue you use and what kind of glitter you use, it was it's gonna feel different. Now, here's a quick tip that's important. When you are using a cream glitter, it doesn't dry. So when you apply it to the face and if you touch it, it's going to smudge. That's just how it is, but it will always stay on your face if you're sweaty, if you're like jump into a pool, it'll always be there. So the secret to keeping the cream glitter from not smudging as much 
is using poofer glitter on top. So you apply the cream glitter, then you apply the poofer glitter, and you will it'll be more stabilized. As you can tell, if I touch it, it still moves a little bit, but um, trust me, it makes a big difference. So that's it. Now we're going to jump in to the actual gems fun stuff. So here is the box that we use for our gems. It is kind of big and bulky, but the great thing about it is that it has so many different compartments for all of your gems. This box I got at Michael's a crafting store. It's like just a, a box organizer container thing. So this keeps it really organized. It keeps it really fast when you're trying to look for certain gems, either on the job or if you're making your own gem clusters at home. You want to have them organized because, you know, it, when you have stubby fingers, right, and you try to grab it, like it's it's not easy. So when you do get one, make sure that the containers are of a decent size for you to reach through, because if they are too small, then we all understand the struggle. One thing about this box that you have to be a bit careful is that you need to hear the click to make sure that it is completely closed because if you put this in your bag and you don't hear that click, you're going to have this huge gem mess and you will cry. I've had that happen more than on one occasion and I cry every single time. So having it click is so important. Also, even though the box is kind of big, it's not too often you have to refill it because the containers are, are slightly thick. So you can add a good amount of gems per color and size. Whenever you go to the dollar store or to the pound shop, it's always good to keep your eye out in the crafting section because sometimes they have really interesting gems. Like these ones, um, these are butterflies that I got for the dollar store. I think it was like 25 in a box, in a bag. And these heart gems as well. When buying gems online, there are a bunch of different websites that you can get them from. One that I like that you can find really cheap and really precious kind of gems is called AliExpress. And I will put the link in the description box below. But there you can find gems for like every kind of holiday or ones you wanna make your own gem clusters. And they're very, very, very cheap. The only downfall with AliExpress is that because it's a Chinese website, it does take about a month to ship in anything that you order from them. So you really need to make sure that when you do order from them that you have a sufficient amount of time that you don't need them in a week or something because it usually will not come in. So here in this case I bought um, tiny hearts from them, um, spiders for Halloween and for Day of the Dead, and then these really pretty kind of um, iridescent kind of gems that are suitable for any occasion. Um, that are also really pretty for like festival looks as well. So I bought multiple bags, especially really small ones. When you do have your gem bar or if you want to acquire a lot of gems, it is so important to have multiple different sizes. And when you are at Michael's, um, you can get a bunch of like really big ones and a bunch of smaller ones. The great thing about Michael's is that they always have coupons, so Let's say you buy like a box, it's like 10 or $15 with a coupon, you can easily get it for like six or seven and it is completely worth it because you will be stocked. So now let's talk about festival glitter. Now you can, when I say festival glitter, I mean like gems and glitter, not the, the brand. So when it comes to creating these kinds of looks, you can do your own custom bling you know, like your bling that you can just glue on. Now it can be a little bit time consuming. So if you have an idea board of what people can decide from, you can make pre-made bags of how you want your gems to be, right? So as you can see here, there's a multiple amount of gems. All of those gems are in this bag. Of course, you need to make a lot of these bags if you're doing a one event that's specifically for gems and glitter, but in the long run, it does make time a lot faster at your actual event. Now again, of course, you can make your own bling, which is like a thousand times faster at 
your event, but at home, uh, it does take a little bit more time, takes more precision and actual knowledge of how to do it. In this case, you just place them all in a bag. It's great meditation time. Uh, for me, I love organizing gems because it really makes me feel a lot more calm than doing other things. So that's just my preference. But again, it's up to you on how you want to do this. If you like these kind of tutorials, then do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you never miss any of these awesome, fantastic, super fun, and exciting classes. This design, just like so many of our other ones on this channel, has a step-by-step -step on our Instagram, at Radiant Art Inspirations. And if you have more specific questions on what kind of glitter to use and like you just don't know, I will put the link in the description box below of gel glitter versus cream glitter, which one should I buy, and I'll put it up here as well so you can click on it because it is valuable information to kind of know the difference and what to use them for. With all that being said, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye! When you are practicing doing gems and glitter, and if you just kind of do it on a regular sheet, it can kind of slide off. So this one's actually paper, and you glue it on, and it sticks on really nicely. So there is this booklet called the Ultimate Face Painting Block that has a ton of different, oh, hold on, a ton of different faces, uh, like angles, people, arms, and all that kind of fun stuff with paper. So if you wanted to use this kind of deal for your idea board, instead of like scanning and laminating and all that stuff, you can just draw all of your designs on here. And it is, it is definitely a lot easier, but if you mess up, you can't wipe it off because it's paper. But this is really great practice for your gems and glitter to apply glue and then take it off when you're done.